coal truck, like a pathfinder, shows up the pothole. Anyone who comes along here too fast now is going to be sorry. A Citroen and a Hillman Hunter and a Land Rover all take it well, but now here comes another little Citroen. They just didn't see it. They say those little Citroen 2 CVs were designed to get across ploughed fields, but that bump was a real axle smasher. I think we broke something. If the support crew can't fix it inside 20 minutes, the driver and the co-driver will be left to fend for themselves. The Citroen, also Dutch driven, is doing well. Flimsier though it looks, it's running second overall. At this drink stop, the word is that the Ford Cortina is leading overall with no time penalties and Johan in the little Citroen is not far behind. We are the second uh, place in overall uh, class, class uh, so we are, and we are very surprised by that because we never uh, drove in a rally or did some motorsport before and we have just little, uh, <laughs> the little 2CV to run with. But. So why, it's a nice surprise. Why are you doing so well? I don't know. Uh, I'm just uh, riding uh, like I'm doing at home. And there are a lot of friends who have a lot of comments on that, on my style of driving. But uh, yeah, it's fantastic here in these circumstances. They'll have to drive like hell too. They have to get up a mountain at an average speed of 50 miles an hour. Impossible unless your car can fly. So everyone will get time penalties, but the faster you go, the fewer penalties. Johan's trying to hold on to second place when he finds there are trucks going up as well as down. He got scraped and lost a bit of bodywork there.
<laughs> well, I would have got the right time anyhow. Oh, oh. Yeah. Go on, no, let's have no, your head no, jump out no, of it. Push him, then you can set him up. Push him, then you can set him up. Get it out. Ahead, there's one last town in Pakistan, an oasis, really. Pressing on and running in sixth place now, the Citroen sounds like a Goldwell smoker making love, as a 2CV should. Are we welcome here? Iran's tetchy habit of offering rewards to anyone anywhere who will murder opponents of its own brand of Islam has isolated this country. It's clear from the welcome we're getting that many here loathe what the Ayatollahs and the Zealots are doing to their reputation. We may be only a bunch of mad motorists on a balmy adventure, but just by coming here we apparently confer some sort of Western approval. There's a hunger here for approval that you can feel all around you. Bert, with one of the three little 600cc Citroens still in, goes burbling away, and we're on the road again. There's the man who made it all happen, Philip Young, the Hannibal of the Himalayas, already planning his next rally to Mars via the Moon and Venus. 